Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. So let's take some examples of this. The first example says sin x square plus 5. So in this case, if you know, if you see, we know the derivative of sin x. We know the derivative of x square plus 5. Both these we know, right? But we don't know the derivative of sin x square plus 5. And if you see, this is nothing but a composite function. So this is, if I assume this guy is, let's suppose, uh, uh, v and this guy is u. So my function is v of u. Correct? You take u first and then find v of this. So this becomes sine x square plus 5 something but v of u where my v is sine x and u is x square plus 5. So what I do here is I assume x square plus 5 as p. Correct. I found dt by dx is nothing but 2x. Correct. Why? Because if I assume sine square x square plus 5 as t, I get y as sine t. If my y is sine t, I can get dy by dt here. So my dy by dt is nothing but cos t. So I have dy by dt, I have dt by dx, I can get dy by dx. My dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dx if both exist. In my case dy by dt exists cos t, dt by dx exists 2x. So this becomes cos t into 2x. And t is nothing but x square plus 5 so this becomes cos of x square plus 5 into 2 and that is my answer. See the more questions you solve the better it is just you watch this video for the concepts but I will recommend you to solve as many questions as you can because the more questions you solve the better is, the, is your speed and the better is your concept. So in this question what we did we had this sine x square plus 5 formula and this was a composite function, correct? And this function again we wrote as v and u form where v becomes sin x and u becomes x square plus 5 and then this guy was nothing but v of u and what we did was we assumed this guy has t so this becomes y becomes sin t because this is nothing but y and I got two equations, right? I got two equation t is nothing but x square plus 5 and y as sin t. Correct. So from this equation I get dt by dx because this equation is a term of t and x. This equation I get dy by dt because this guy is in term of y and t. You multiply both those you get dy by dx. Let's take some more example because chain was a little uh, tricky one. Here also if you see this is a composite function cos of sin x. So in this case also we can convert into, no, let's suppose y is equal to cos of sine x. So if I write into, let's suppose, you know, v and u form. So my uh, v becomes, let's suppose, cos x and u becomes sine x. So my, this, if this is fx, my fx is nothing but v of u. You take u first and then you take v. So this is my function. Composite functions, what I can do, I can write this guy as t. So I get two equations t is equal to sin x and I get y is equal to cos. Correct? This guy is in form of t and x, so I can get dt by dx from this guy. And this guy is y and t, I can get t by dt. And I know the formula, I have to find d by dx for this particular equation. This is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dx if these two exist. So let's find dy by dt first because dy by dt is required here. So if I take this equation, my dy by dt becomes for cos t, the differential is minus sin t. So minus sin t is my dy by dt. So I write here minus 
sin t is my d by d. Now I want dt by x, dt by dx, so I'll take this equation. So t is equal to sin x, so my dt by dx is nothing but cos x. So I'll write cos x here. And that is my answer. Since t is something not given in question, I can replace t with sin x, this becomes minus sin of sin x into cos x. And that is my answer. So what I have done, I just observed that this is a composite function. Since this guy was a composite function, I was able to write this in this fashion. V is equal to cos x, V is equal to sin x. And I just made sin x as t, I got two equation. And I know I can write dy by dx as dy by dt dt by dx. I got the value of dy by dt, I got the value of dt by dx, got the answer. Let's take one more example. Sin of ax plus b. Very similar to the old question. Here also if you see, we know ax plus b, I know how to differentiate. I know how to differentiate sin x. So if I assume sin x as v and ax plus b as u, then this guy, my fx, which you can see here, this guy is nothing but v of u. Please note it is not u of v, it is v of u because sin x comes first and this guy comes second. If you are having issue in this, you can again watch my class 11 video where I explain how to do this and you learn this in class 11 too. So this is my fx is equal to v of u. Now, if I am writing this guy as t, why? Because it is composite function, I can use this as t. So I have got two equations, t is equal to ax plus b and y is equal to sin t. Why? Because y is equal to sin ax plus b, instead of that I am writing y is equal to sin t. Now I have to write again, I have to find dy by dx. I can try this dy by dt into dt by dx. Why? Because composite function and chain rule is true for this. dy by dt, to get dy by dt I have to use this equation because this equation is in terms of y and t. So y is equal to sin t, dy by dt will become cos t. This derivation we have done, so this becomes cos t into this equation I have t is equal to ax plus b so I get dt by dx nothing but a into differentiate x with respect to x you get 1 and differentiate b with respect to x that is 0 because any constant with respect to 0 becomes 0 so this becomes a this is a a cos t is my answer but t is not in the question so I will replace t with ax plus b so I will get cos of ax plus b into a and that is my answer. So I can write this as a cos ax plus b. A fancier way to write. And that is my answer. Very simple. So what we observe in these questions are these are all questions where uh, we have a composite function and I can use chain rule. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.